looks so sad. Looks like she needs help. Hey, what's the matter? I'm lost. I walked farther away from my house than I've ever done. And now I cannot find my way back home. Oh, that's sad. Uh, I'm JC. What's your name? My name is Pinky. Hey Pinky, don't be sad. We will find your house. Hmm, idea. We will try to find the way to your house by looking at the map. Map? What's a map? A map is a drawing or a visual representation of an area on a flat surface. Maps help us reach from one place to another. How do they do that? <laughs> maps show us all the details of an area on paper. A map can be of a large area such as the world or a country having all the states and cities marked on it. A map can also represent a very small area like a neighborhood or a park. Look here Pinky. This is the map of our locality. Oh really? Yes. And do you see this green area? We are in the park that is shown on the map here. Oh. But this is so confusing. How do we understand this map? It's easy Pinky. Maps use symbols or simple pictures to represent real things. You see all these places marked on the map the grocery store and goodwill hotel and football ground mm, yes these places are known as landmarks what are landmarks jc a landmark is a well known place or location in a particular area which helps find other locations on the map for example a building a shop a park a tree or historical place these routes marked on the map george street and link street are the roads that connect one landmark to another following the correct route can lead us to our destination great one more thing that you need to understand while reading maps is directions such as left right i know what that is this is my left hand and this is my right hand good so the things that lie towards your right hand are in the right direction and the things that lie towards your left hand are in the left direction so this is right and left yes and no pinky directions are relative to one's position this is left and right for me but not for you because you're facing me my right will be your left and my left will be your right. Hmm, I think you did not understand. Look, this signboard is towards my right. But since you are standing facing me, this signboard is to your left. Now, if I turn around and stand beside you, this signboard comes to my left hand side too. That's how directions change with our position. Mm, I do understand this now. <laughs> and now that you know all about landmarks, let me show you the way to my house on this map. This is the park we are standing in. I walked straight from the main gate of the park. After a while, I reached this grocery store. I turn left from the grocery store. I walk straight up to a crossing with a traffic light. There, I turn right in Harris Street. After walking till the end of Harris Street, I take a right again. Then I turn left again in Goodwill Street. Just at the end of the street, there is a hotel called Goodwill Hotel. I take a left from there. Then I walk straight along the football ground and take a right. In Link Street. My house is the third house on Link Street. That was great, JC. 
I think I understand how to read a map now. But how are we going to find the way to my house? Is it present on this map? Hmm, I'm not sure. But don't worry, Pinky. We'll draw a map that'll lead us to your house. Now, Pinky, you have to try and remember everything that you did after you left home. Okay. Let me think. Uh, I left my house and started walking straight along the pavement. At the end of the pavement, there is a tall tree with a bench beside it. I took a ride from the bench and walked straight up to an ice cream stall. There was a big basketball ground to the right of the ice cream stall. I went walking past the stall when I saw some big dogs on the way. I ran away from there and cannot remember which way I took. Great! Now all we need to do is get here from the ice cream stall. Let's find someone who can show us the way. Hello Uncle Roy. Hello JC. How are you? And who is this young girl here? This is Pinky. She has lost her way. Can you help us find a way back to her house? Sure kids. How can I help you? Do you know any ice cream stalls in this park? Yes, there are two ice cream stands in this park. We are looking for the one with a basketball ground near it. Oh yes. I can tell you the way to that. Now, listen carefully. Walk straight down from here till you come to a yellow signboard with a local map on it. Take a right from that board and walk straight till you find another such signboard. Take a left from here and start walking straight. You will see benches along this path. After you have crossed the third bench, you will be able to see an ice cream stall in front of you. The basketball ground is just opposite that. Thank you, Uncle Roy. We know the way from the ice cream stall to Pinky's house. Now Pinky will be able to find her way home. Come on, Pinky. Now all we have to do is start walking according to this map. And we'll reach your house. Oh, wow! Thanks, Stacy. Thank you, Uncle Roy. Bye, kids. Now off you go to find Pinky's house. Let's walk straight towards the yellow signboard. Now, we have to turn right from the signboard. Yes, fantastic. You are getting good at this. Now, we have to reach the second signboard. Then turn left from the second signboard and walk straight. Oh look, JC, the ice cream stall. Here is the basketball ground you were talking about. Now we have to walk straight till the end of this pavement. Yay! There's the bench with the tall tree next to it. Uh, uh, let's turn left and walk straight. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm home! Thanks, JC! <laughs> no problem, Pinky. Don't ever wander about and lose your way again. And now that you know the way to my house, you can come visit me anytime. Hey, friends! Do you know what I learnt about reading maps and directions today? A map is a visual representation of an area. Maps help us find our way from one place to another. A landmark is a well-known place in a particular area which helps find other locations on the map. For example, a building, a shop, a park, a tree, or historical place. Directions such as left and right are generally used while referring to locations. 
the things that lie towards your right hand are in the right direction and the things that lie towards your left hand are in the left direction directions are relative to your position that's all i have got i'm off to play now bye